And welcome back, and I'm Serge. And I'm CERN. Now CERN, often when we're doing plus scanning, we are very interested in ruling in or out actual lung pathology. How in the world do we do this? Exactly, so we're gonna use the PLUS protocol again, pleural and lung ultrasound. We talked about the two pleural space diseases with pneumothorax and pleural effusion. Now we're gonna look for the actual lung pathology. And the key to this is, again, we think about the regions that we want to assess for lung pathology. We're basically gonna scan the dorsal third, the middle third, and the ventral third of the lung surface itself for B lines or consolidations representative of lung pathology. So lots of different protocols out there. We like the sliding S-shaped protocol, and we'll do that by scanning the dorsal third, the middle third, and the ventral third of the lung. And we'll basically slide cranial, come down ventral, slide the middle, come down ventral, slide the uh, ventral actual area of the lung. So Correct. Serge is gonna demonstrate that as well, and we're gonna actually show you how we scan the lung surface in an S-shaped pattern, starting at the most caudal dorsal site, which we've already discussed when we talked about pneumothorax. All right, so we're at that cranial border, Dr. Boysen. Again, we want to start likely at that caudal dorsal position there. So we're going to go and find, woo, look at that caudal border right there. We're going to go all the way up until we lose that pleural line. Boom, we're in the paxial muscles. I'm going to come right back down, Dr. Boysen, and find that pleural line. Now I have found that pleural line. I'm ready to do my S shape um, scanning here. And now key, Dr. Boysen, I am just looking at that pleural line and looking for changes there. Yeah, so once we found that caudal dorsal site, if we see lung sliding there, we know that the lung is contact with the chest wall, and therefore we can now scan the lung surface because we know we have lung sliding and the lung's in contact with the chest wall. So we're basically going to scan the dorsal third by simply sliding cranially until we can't go any further forward, looking for B lines or consolidation coming off that pleural line. We don't see any there, so now we come back down to mid-thorax, we didn't see any pathology, we come caudal again till we hit that vertical edge artifact, the curtain sign, no B lines, no pathology that's noted there. We keep coming call, there's that curtain sign again. So we've done the dorsal and the middle third of the lung surface looking for pathology. Mm -hmm. We're now gonna drop down ventrally until we get essentially that pericardiodiaphragmatic window again. And there we have it, uh, where we've got the heart and the diaphragm in the same window. And at this site, we can again, either keep the probe perpendicular and scan the lungs with the probe perpendicular for pathology, or we can, if we wanna look for both lung pathology and pleural effusion, turn the probe parallel as Serge did there. And essentially this time we wanna make sure we check that ventral lung region. So we scan that ventral lung region, moving up and down in between each rib space from the essential pericardiodiaphragmatic window until we hit that thoracic inlet cranially. So we've basically done a nice scan of a good majority, dorsal, middle, and ventral third of the lung surface, looking for increased B lines or lung pathology. That is correct, and that's how we look for lung pathology.